Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Drawing with Mr. Sepulveda. I'm Mr. Sepulveda, and welcome to episode 104, where I'm going to take the amazing Digital Circus characters and turn them into superheroes. It's been about a month or so since the amazing Digital Circus has um, kind of come out onto the YouTube channel. And if you haven't seen it, I'm going to leave it in the description down below. But it's got me thinking, and it's got me anticipating what's going to happen in like the next upcoming episodes and what the series is going to look like. And so instead of just waiting, I decided just to take the characters and turn them into superheroes since that's one of my favorite things to do on this channel anyways. Um, and so the first character I've got up is Kinger. And Kinger's kind of like an Avatar um, King chess piece uh, that has um, kind of like a purple robe um, or I guess maybe a cape or something that he, that's kind of fashioned around him. And then he's got two uh, free-floating um, hands. Um, and so when I went into the character design, I wasn't sure... Um, I played around with the design of keeping him with a king's crown. Um, wasn't sure if I was going to keep that. I did like the whole robe aspect. Um, and I figured, well, my hero could definitely be wearing it or taking it off or putting it on and kind of messing around with that. Um, and I would have the king um, emblem um, either on his belt or on his gauntlet. And I decided to just go with both because I, I really couldn't determine where I really wanted it. Um, I did want him to have some facial hair, some kind of gave him some facial hair. Um, I played around with hair types, but I really thought spiky was the way to go. I don't know, just to kind of give him a more imposing type of feel or try to create more of a strong character, if that makes sense. Um, and so that's kind of the route that I decided to go with when I was designing King. When it comes to the coloring, I, I really did try to keep it as close or as true to the Amazing Digital Circus Kinger um, uh, with, with his color palette. Um, and, and you'll see that in just a few moments here. Okay, um, And I decided to really fully render these out similar to how I did my Thor or my Musculo or my Puppet Master, my Metal Samurai. All these characters with my new rendering style decided to put it into here since I typically just do this rendering style for my superheroes. Um, I might try to do it with all my artworks moving forward, but for right now, I'm going to try to keep it uh, here, okay? Um, and so you can kind of see. I don't know why I went with the decision of giving him a blue um, outfit, right? Um, but I end up giving him a dark, deep purple mask. I think I could have gone in a different route, if I'm going to be 100% honest with this. Um, I think the art piece for this is pretty good. Um, I, I'm, I'm not like displeased with it but i do think i could have pushed this just a little bit more i knew when i went into this i didn't want to do full bodies for any of the three characters that i chose um but i did feel like i could have pushed the pose more i could have made him a little bit more king-like maybe give him a sword or or something like that or maybe even kind of create a whole new character in the sense of maybe he's like the chess master and and then give him like little chess pieces to kind of allude back to the kinger um avatar um so i'm gonna let the rest of this time lapse comments down below let me know what you guys think about my kinger redraw Next character up is Kane. Uh, he seems to be like the uh, circus master, the ringleader. Um, Kane in the series seems to know a little bit more information, or at least to me, he kind of appears to be the guy that's in the know, uh, where everyone else has more or less lost their memories coming into this um, amazing digital circus world. Um, and so in my mind, he's kind of a little bit evil right um he's a little bit smart right and so i, I kind of wanted to show a little bit of that i, I kind of wanted to have fun with a uh, more of a nerdy-esque character and so i ended up giving him some glasses or some goggles to kind of play on that um i was thinking my hero academia trying to give him a little bit more of a fun looking costume um because kane's just a mouth right uh, physical teeth with like two eyeballs floating um and so i wanted him to kind of wear the 
top part of the mouth over his head, kind of where the hat meets his head, um, as if they were almost one entire piece. And the bottom part of his jaw, I just kind of wanted it on his shoulders, kind of by his neck area, kind of popping up. Um, so I try to give it a weird, unique aesthetic. And I think it kind of works for this character. Um, I end up trying my best to do some of the teeth and the gums and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I like this piece more than I like Kinger. Um, but I definitely like my last and final piece that I do in this episode the best. And so that's kind of why I saved it for the end. Um, but yeah, it was kind of hard working with the ringleader outfit and trying to turn it into a costume that's like workable and kind of makes sense. Um, similar to Kinger, um, I, I could have pushed the pose just a little bit more or had a little bit more fun. Um, with it because honestly I just kind of have him out there he's holding on to this cane right hence the, I guess hence the name cane um, but I could have done something more I could have made it have some of that electricity I could have had it have a little bit of magic these are all things that I was thinking after the fact um, and things that you know maybe I'll consider doing um, if I continue this series of turning amazing digital circus characters into superheroes or even like super villains right um and and that's only of course depending on you guys right if you want me to make another one if you want to see me reimagine some of the other characters right um i think one of my other favorite characters is the rabbit character i think it's jacks i might be wrong i'd have to double check but just like the big smile and the bunny ears i don't know he just seems like a funny character uh to me um and so i i feel like i would try to play him off as more of a villain-esque character as well right um, so um, again, just like Kinger, I'm going to let this one time lapse. Please let me know in the, in the uh, comments down below, uh, how you guys feel this art piece turned out. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad. I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath. My blood boils over like... Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me f***ed up. Let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of pavement. Just to make a statement. I know that All right, guys, and I really couldn't do this episode without um, using Pomni. Um, she's like the main character coming into uh, the Amazing Digital Circus. She has no memories, and she's learning all about this new world, um, just like the viewer is. And um, I really do like her aesthetic. Uh, she does remind me of like a Harley Quinn esque character and i really tried my best to avoid um creating a harley quinn character because pomni looks like a jester um but i think when i started drawing her um i really did have in my mind like maybe she might fight with a bow staff almost like a uh you know kind of like a in the world of batman um and Robin, right, and just kind of fight with weapons, uh, which I guess kind of leans on the Harley Quinn aspect of this. Um, but I really did have fun with it. Um, I like the I like the costume. I really didn't try to stray too far from it. Um, the only thing I really did was just kind of redraw Pomni in my style, um, and then kind of just went with it. Um, she was a fun character. I think this is the 
best picture that I made in this episode. Um, and I'll have you guys also kind of decide on that, like which one of these amazing Digital Circus characters was your favorite that I drew in this episode, and which ones would you like me to draw in another episode? There's, there's very few of them um, as of this moment, right? Um, as of this recording, but as the story builds and the world builds, uh, there's going to be some fun characters to work with. Or would you like to see me use these amazing digital um, circus characters and turn them into something else? I've been turning things like One Piece characters into dragons, and that might be a kind of a fun um, episode to see. Like, what would Pomni look like as a dragon, right? Um, things like that. Um, I'm going to let this time lapse, and I'll talk to you guys in the outro. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Right, guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing the holidays are upon us and i really 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 enjoy christmas and if you enjoy making christmas art why not come join me on my countdown for the 12 days of christmas by creating 12 pieces of christmas art and likewise for the next two weeks i will be taking christmas characters and turning them into super villains those are all on the side over here um, i will see you all next week you guys have a good one take care Bye bye